Stefania, thanks so much for joining us. It's so great to be here. Thanks a lot. Uh, so we talked about a year ago for our podcast where we went through a lot of details about your background, your professional history, and of course the story of Easy Cater, how you guys have gotten to where you were a year ago, but a lot has happened since then. So I was excited to talk to you because over the past year, uh, there's been new funding, new office space. So we're going to talk a lot about all that great stuff. But before we get into that, let's, let's talk about Easy Cater. Like, what do you guys do in case someone's watching that isn't familiar with your company? Sure. You come to Easy Cater enter an address anywhere in the United States or in France, and we will help you find restaurants or caterers that will deliver food to your business meeting at any location in the United States or across France. Once you place the order, which you can do on our site, then it becomes our problem. It's not yours anymore. We're the biggest player. We have more than 65,000 restaurants in the United States to whom we can send orders, and we have more than 1,000 now in France to whom we can send orders. So we're, we're the market leader, as I said before. We're bigger than everybody else put together. And we're, we have very, very high customer satisfaction. And, you, and, it's a, and it, this is a business at scale, right? So uh, you recently raised another round of funding. And for that round, you achieved the unicorn valuation status, which is super exciting. We need more unicorns, especially in the Boston tech scene. But uh, so you, you did throw a little bit of, of a party just to recognize it. Like not a big celebration, but something to at least recognize that milestone. We did. Cupcakes is one of the currencies we use around the office. We had cupcakes for about 20 minutes, maybe 30, yep. and then went back to work. Because it's, raising money is a great affirmation of what you've done, and it is terrific uh, fuel in the tank for running this rocket ship higher and faster. But it's not the goal. The goal is to have a very successful business the money helps you get to that goal. But you don't want to spend too much time celebrating the fundraise. You don't even want to spend too much time celebrating the one and a quarter billion dollar valuation. What you really celebrate is revenue. You really celebrate happy customers. You really celebrate low employee turnover. That's the kind of thing that's the more important because each of those feeds on the others and gives you a more and more successful business. Yeah, yeah, it, it is just a milestone. Even an IPO is another funding milestone for the it's company. A milestone, yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, it's just another step in the trajectory of a company, which you know, Easycater, you know, rapidly grew to the point where now it's one of the anchor tech companies in the Boston tech scene. So, what has been going on for the past year? You know, you talked a little bit about the fundraise, but how about the other parts of the company as well as the uh, the new office space? Sure, sure. When we last talked, I think we had either just bought or were just about to finish buying the company in France, which has been our beachhead in Europe. They were, at the time that we bought them, working, offering the service that is analogous to what we offer here in the United States. They were offering it just in Paris, but now they're offering it nationwide across France. That's a very cool step for them. We also uh, indeed raised the money. We acquired another company in Vancouver in Canada and with that, with that company, that's a software company, they were, between them and us together, we are now the undisputed market leader in catering management systems. So for the restaurants, if they were ever asking a question like, well, I don't know, should I buy the software from the guys in Canada? Should I buy the software from EasyCater? Now it's not a problem. It's all together and it's integrating well. We have several chains that are getting all of their orders through the EasyCater website, automatically shipping into their uh, POS systems and into their daily uh, catering management tools. So it, that's working really well. Uh, we moved into this office because we outgrew the building we were in, which we love the building, we love the people, but we were spread across four floors and two elevator banks, and that drove us nuts. Mm -hmm. But here, we work, it's a we work enterprise space, and we work and we have together designed all the traffic trappings here. It's a beautiful layout, and it, it's, it's got a lot of the WeWork cool dimension, and Easy Cater touches, Easy Cater design, a lot of food elements and, and themes through it. I don't know if you can see the picture, but behind me there's a picture of dragon fruit, because the name of the conference room that we're sitting in right now is dragon fruit. <laughs> we have remarkably, uh, had to dig remarkably deep in the food lexicon to come up with names for the hundred conference rooms we have in our space. We're a very collaborative group. You spend a lot of time working with other people. And so many nooks and crannies and formal conference rooms in which you could sit were, was important in our design. We have a lot of that. 
It's beautiful office space. So we recently featured an office store in VentureFizz. So if anyone who's watching this wants to see the pictures of the office, it's absolutely stunning. Like cool. uh, Easy Cater and WeWork, you guys did an amazing job collaborating on the, the interior design. It's beautiful. Now, what's the, the, the scale of the company in terms of number of employees? We are 550 people in Boston today. We're about 250 people in Denver. We're probably 40 in each of Paris and Vancouver. And we expect in Boston alone to hire something like 75 to 100 more people this year. We have been hiring, I think we've added 200 people in Boston, maybe more, just in Boston this year. And we have hired programmers, salespeople, huge number of salespeople, uh, customer service people, finance people, facilities people, uh, uh, C-suite. We've added three executives to our C-suite. Uh, what other department? If there's marketing, tons of marketing people. And basically, we're hiring in every department. Now, what the type of person that thrives at Easy Cater? Like, what what do you think? You know, because there's different positions: engineering, marketing, across the board. So obviously, each department has its own uh, requirements of what the position entails and what the person might be a fit for. But if you had to put like an umbrella over the type of person that thrives at Easy Cater, like what 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 is that type of person? We, we could definitely do that. We have a set of values, that, uh, the nine ingredients in our culture recipe. They are our values. And people say, well, when you get to be a big company, then you know, things get diluted and you don't hire as good people and so on. That's a choice. We, that doesn't happen to you. It doesn't get thrust upon you. It's actually a choice. And our choice has been to hold tightly to our values. So you need to, at the core of the values is, is this element of, uh, be insanely helpful. You need to embrace that. It doesn't, it applies to everybody. You don't have to be in customer service to be insanely helpful. We are insanely helpful, kind, supportive, thoughtful, collaborative, constructive, positive to and with each other, as well as to any of the outside parties, customers, restaurants, the vendor, the landlord, we work, anybody. So we, our programmers are the most insanely helpful people you'll find. It is, there's so little, <clears throat> um, I don't know, prima donna element. Our salespeople are the most insanely helpful people you'll find. They are all extremely ambitious. They're all competitive. None of them are cutthroat. We, <clears throat> so you got to meet those criteria, the nine ingredients. Insanely helpful is a big one. Don't be an asshole. We really will fire brilliant jerks. We don't care how brilliant you are. If you're a jerk, we hope you didn't make it through our screen, but we do ask you to leave. You've got to be up for the speed at which we operate. This is not a frenetic place. This is not a frenzied place, but we move fast. We work, we work hard for a sane number of hours, and then we let you go home. During the time you're here, be engaged and make decisions. Keep moving, keep trying things. Make decisions, be brave, be bold, make decisions, keep moving, keep trying things. If you love to own your work and, and take it forward in a constructive, collaborative way and continually aiming higher, being willing to try it and track it, that's one of the elements of our culture that we talk about a lot. If you are if you're comfortable with that, you will do great here. And that's true in any department. Try it and track it. It applies to any work you're trying to do. If you are interested in exploring opportunities at Easy Cater, you can see a complete list of all their openings on their biz page on VentureFizz, which is VentureFizz.com backslash Easy Cater. And you can also check out the podcast interview that Stefania and I did about a year ago. We can hear the whole history of her background as well as uh, the background story on Easy Cater. Well, Thank you. Stefania, thanks for the uh, update on the company. And of course, uh, you know, wishing you continued success. Thank you to you guys as well. Thanks a lot for featuring us.